No matter. Absolutely. All right, let's get to the nine at nine. Number nine, if you think putting IKEA furniture together is complicated and making a gingerbread house in your kitchen is complicated, imagine if both worlds came together. Mm. You are about to find out. The company just released free templates online. All you have to do is download them and print them out. If you can figure out the directions, you'll be able to make your own tiny IKEA gingerbread wonderland. It's just that simple. Gingerbread materials are not included, and the instructions work the same way they do with all of their products, so good luck. It's, uh, it seems like a little bit more work than I want to do, but yeah. Yeah. there you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll do. Mm -hmm. All right, number eight. Have you ever enjoyed a delicious Mexican treat called nachos? Oh, oh yeah. I love nachos. I bet you have. Yeah. Well, did you know there's actually a guy named Nacho who created them? Really? Back in 1940, Ignacio Nacho Anaya was maitre d' at a restaurant in Mexico just across the West Texas border. A group of women came in, and Nacho couldn't find the cook. So he just fried up some tortillas. Yeah. He grated some Wisconsin cheese on them, wow. melted it, and added some sliced jalapenos. The ladies loved it, and they named it Nachos Especiale. Wow. The dish spread around Mexico and then north of the border. In 1960, Nacho's son got a lawyer to look into making some money out of it. But after 17 years, it was in the public oh, domain. Oh, that's too bad. That is yeah. a real shame. Timing so. on that. You got to get on it right yeah. away. Yeah. Oh, well.